historical reference of the breed and subgroup. The flat-coated retriever is a hunting dog breed known since the early 19th century. Its representatives have a great flair, efficient, smart and obedient. In their veins flows the blood of the Irish setter Labrador, Newfoundland. Dogs completely devoid of aggressiveness, even towards strangers. Great companions who love children. It is difficult to maintain in urban conditions, great physical exertion is required. Retrievers are the youngest group of hunting dogs in their origin. The first retrievers were bred in the middle of the 19th century in England, when hunters with cops needed to combine search speed, stand strength and game towing. After all, the cops, looking for the shot game, often acquired the manner of breaking off the rack. A rather original solution was found. They began to take a second dog for hunting with the cop, whose duties included finding and bringing down game to the hunter. These dogs became known as retrievers. Currently, the group of retrievers unites six breeds, Labrador, Golden Retriever, Flat-Coated Retriever, Curly-Coated Retriever, Nova Scotia Retriever and Chesapeake Bear Retriever, but Labradors and Golden Retrievers remain the most numerous and favorite representatives of the group. The scientist and hunter Sabanev wrote in his book Hunting Dogs that retrievers are called special bird dogs, whose duty is to look for dead or injured game. Practice has shown that the retrievers should have. First, to have a good, but exclusively lower instinct, that is, to look for a wounded bird on the trail, without being distracted by other birds. Second, to be of good stature, and of considerable strength, sufficient to carry a hare in the teeth from a great distance. Third, have good eyesight to see where a dead bird is fallen. Fourth, willingly walk in water, even cold, and in dense thickets. Fifth, have a good character, be obedient and understanding. Six, do not crush the game, and bring the shot bird alive, without damage. To get a dog with such qualities, it was necessary to cross setters, spaniels, collies, medium-sized divers from the Labrador Peninsula and poodles, select the best of the best among the descendants of these mixed marriages, and again resort to interbreeding. As a result of selection, two main types of retrievers were obtained, smooth-coated and curly-coated. All modern breeds of retrievers are their direct descendants, ennobled by the efforts of many breeders. Dogs of this breed are hardy, energetic, and have a sharp instinct. Due to its excellent ability to swim and adaptability to diving, it can hunt both marsh and waterfowl. Flat-coated retrievers have a sociable friendly nature, not prone to aggression. This breed needs gentle, but persistent training as the dogs are highly emotional. For the same reason, they are very sociable, and do not tolerate the need to be alone. Flat-coated retrievers are very social dogs, that show high trainability and good working qualities in all types of training they master. At the same time, dogs of this breed cannot be used where aggression is required, which is not characteristic of them. Despite their sensitivity and ability to bark at strangers, they are not suitable as protective regard dogs. Passionate and quick to learn, they train best in short intervals, as repetition can tire them out. The flat-coated retriever is a slow maturing dog, as they do not reach full maturity until they are 4 years old. Even so, these dogs retain their youthful puppy-like appearance and behavior even into old age. Paddy Patch, author of The Complete Smooth-Coated Retriever, calls these dogs the Peter Pan of the Retrievers, given that they never mature. When kept with other animals, they easily get along with representatives of their own species, but can be dangerous for animals of other species, since they have a highly developed hunting instinct. Traditionally, the dog is used as a hunting dog for gun hunting. In the modern world, they are used as a service dog, guide dog, for tracking and search work, and also as a companion dog. Flat-coated retrievers are very strongly attached to the human family in which they live. Some breeds are strongly attached to one person, others to all members of the human family, others may have a friendly attitude towards all people in general, and the fourth may not have close ties even with the owner. Flat-coated retrievers are very strongly attached to all members of the human family. They are also very happy with strangers. The attitude of any dog to strangers strongly depends on the breed of the pet, but even more strongly this attitude depends on the upbringing and socialization of a particular individual, while socialization in the early puppyhood of a pet is especially important in this regard. With children, the flat-coated retriever gets along well. However, regardless of the dog's friendly attitude towards children, a dog of any breed should not be left alone with small children. Some breeds of dogs are more relaxed about the behavior of young children, and may not pay attention to semantics of children, however, it should be understood that dogs of all breeds, no matter how friendly they are, should be with children only under the supervision of the owner or adults, since in addition to the qualities of the breed in relation to children, there are also the individual characteristics of each dog, its upbringing and previous experience in communicating with children. Even these relationships are largely influenced by the behavior of children. Flat-coated retrievers also get along well with other dogs, and they get along well with each other, unless, of course, other dogs show similar behavior. 
Different breeds of dogs treat their own kind differently. Some dogs will play and interact in every possible way with dogs they meet or live with. Other breeds may try to dominate or even attack similar four-legged ones. At the same time, the relationship between dogs can be very different from how a dog will react to people. The behavior of a dog in relation to other dogs and people depends not only on the breed, but also on the socialization of a particular individual. Communication flat-coated retriever as well as any other dog breeds with small pets such as hamsters, domestic rats, squirrels, chinchillas and other rodents should be limited. The flat-coated retriever is not well suited for keeping in an apartment. When kept in an apartment, these dogs require a long walk with various types of exercise. It should also be borne in mind that they cannot stand loneliness and cannot be left alone even for a short time. The quality and quantity of wool allow the flat-coated retriever to comfortably endure cold and heat, but very low or high temperatures are no longer safe for the four-legged. Learning and Training All dogs can be trained and trained, but some breeds remember and execute commands faster and more readily than other breeds. Different breeds need a different approach to training and education. Some breeds may appear to be poorly trainable or even stupid, however, in most cases, a dog breed's trainability is due to the stubborn or independent nature of the dog breeder individual. Also of great importance in the trainability of a dog is the role of what training methods the trainer uses for a particular breed. In the book The Intelligence of Dogs, published in 1994 and written by University of British Columbia Vancouver psychology professor Stanley Korn, the flat-coated retriever is ranked 18th out of 80 in terms of learning ability. In this regard, the breed is on a par with such breeds as the English Cocker Spaniel and the Metalschnauzer. In Professor Stanley Korn's book, the flat-coated retriever is located in the group Dogs with Excellent Learning Abilities, mastering a new team from 5 to 15 repetitions, execution of the command from the first time, in 85% of cases and above. Tendency to Bark Among other things, breeds differ in the level of noise, or rather, in the frequency of their barking. Some breeds can bark all the time without stopping, and never get tired of barking at every stranger or strange dog that passes by your house or by herself. Other breeds bark only on business, when it is necessary in her opinion, and still others can only give a voice in exceptional cases. The flat-coated retriever has a high tendency to bark unreasonably. But these dogs are not particularly distinguished by the desire to gnaw. The desire to gnaw and taste everything is common to puppies of all breeds, but as adults, different breeds have varying degrees of propensity to explore the world with their teeth. The flat-coated retriever is not prone to such missive. Activity and energy level. According to the level of charge and activity, breeds can also be divided into active and calm or even lazy. An active dog will require constant walks, training and frequent mental stimulation from you. Calm and less energetic dogs will be happy with short walks around the house and will gladly share your desire to lie on the couch at home. This feature should be taken into account when choosing a pet, since the unfulfilled needs of an active animal will be realized at home on the things and objects of your home. The amount of energy in the dog also determines with what desire and for how long the dog will play games with you or with your child under your supervision. Flat-coated retriever in this regard is charged to his fullest. In addition, many breeds have an innate desire to chase moving objects and animals. The degree of this desire may vary from breed to breed. If this innate instinct is highly developed in a dog, you need to carefully monitor the pet during a walk and keep it on a leash, since any moving object can provoke the dog to chase, even if it is a car that can harm the animal. At such moments the dog can disobey the call of the owner and switch all your attention to the moving target. In addition, such breeds pose an additional danger to small domestic animals and birds. However, the flat-coated retriever has this instinct in abundance, but it is most often able to cope with it. Passion for Vagrancy and Love of Freedom some breeds have a tendency to cover long distances on their fours, for which they were bred, so these dogs, following their instinct, will not miss the opportunity to escape from you and run a couple of kilometers, despite your calls. Sled dogs, hounds and bloodhounds are mainly inclined to such walks. The flat-coated retriever tends to run away from its owner when it smells an interesting scent. Tendency to drool. The amount of saliva produced depends on the characteristics of the breed. Some breeds salivate, so much that they can leave marks on the carpet, on the sofa, on the floor and on you, other breeds also salivate, but this happens in much less quantities. Fortunately flat-coated retrievers produce very little saliva. But the amount of hair that flat-coated retrievers leave behind is about the same as most dogs. This figure is quite average for them. The amount of dog hair in your home and on your clothes depends a lot on what breed you choose. Some breeds shed all year round, others only seasonally, others hardly shed. This characteristic of the breed can be important depending on where you plan to keep the pet, whether members of your family are allergic to animal hair, and how important it is to you in general. Dog care. 
Some breeds may require a lot of grooming and attention due to coat characteristics, muzzle shape, habitat, or the general health of the breed. The coat of these dogs requires regular combing, as they are actively subject to molting. It is also necessary to regularly clean the ears of the animal, especially if the dog is used to work in the water or simply bathes itself often. It's important to keep track of how much your dog is eating, as retrievers tend to be overweight and don't feel full well enough. General health of the breed on a 10-point scale. The general health of dogs of this breed and the possibility of the appearance of genetic diseases in them can be assessed on a 10-point scale of 9 points, that is, they are quite healthy dogs with a minimum number of genetically predisposed diseases. The flat-coated retriever has a higher cancer risk than most dogs. Another more common condition among flat-coated retrievers is gastric volvulus. If left untreated, the dog will die quickly. Gastric volvulus is responsible for 5% of all flat-coated retriever deaths. The flat-coated retriever has a very low rate of hip dysplasia and paddler luxation compared to other medium-sized breeds. Statistics from the Animal Orthopedic Foundation consistently show that the rate of hip dysplasia in the breed is less than 3%. The average life expectancy of a flat-coated retriever is only about 8 years with a high percentage of deaths from cancer. More recent studies in Denmark and the UK show that the average life expectancy is around 10 years.